What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we're going to be playing Doom on an iPod. In this video, I'm going to be using the iPod Nano first generation, but this will work on any iPod that you've got Rockbox installed on. If you guys do not have Rockbox installed, this does actually come um, with the Doom installed, so basically this is how you get it working. It doesn't come with the official version, it comes with a free version. But if you guys don't have Rockbox, there will be a link to it in the description. I have made a full guide on how to get this running on your iPod. This runs on many different iPods, and it's very very cool but if you guys have got Rockbox and you're wanting to play the official Doom I'm going to show you how to do it in this video so let me just give you a close-up of the Rockbox operating system if you guys didn't know if you go into the plugins and you just want to press the enter key if you go into games and scroll down you will actually have a copy of Doom in here but there is just one problem with it this Doom right here does not come with the real one installed it basically has a freeware version um, so obviously if you're going to a game right here it has free doom and free doom right here isn't actually the real game so make sure that's selected and then it's just going to go on to play game right here basically it's going to launch up free doom and free doom is just kind of like this freeware game i mean to be fair it's very well made and it's very good but we want to play the original so all you guys want to do is go and connect your ipod to your computer obviously to do that you need the original apple cable so make sure you've got that to hand i'm actually just going to exit out of this so let me just scroll down onto the quick game so let me just quit out of this one and what we're going to do is I'm going to connect my iPod to my computer and then we can actually get this working. So this is the link, it's the official Doom page on the Rockbox website. If we scroll down, it will actually show us the WADs, which should work. Now, I don't know if this is different for each iPod. As I said, I've got the iPod Nano first gen, which is one of the kind of lower power ones. It says you can use the top 100 WADs website as well, and you can also get a couple of Doom demos here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Doom 1. So I'm gonna click on this, and it's actually just going to download it automatically. So in my downloads folder with the DoomWAD zip file, if you double click on it, you should be able to find Doom1.wad inside. So all we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop that out to our downloads. Then we want to right click and just select copy. Now we're going to go back onto our iPod. We need to go inside of .rockbox. We need to go inside of Doom. We're going to do right click in here and we're going to do paste. And it is as easy as that. Now you guys can get the WADs for any of these games. You can get Doom, you can get Doom 2, you can get um, some of these weird ones like Doom TNT I didn't even know what that is and um, yeah I'm sure you guys can find these online very easily and basically I just wanted to get the first one because it was linked here and it's shareware so that should be completely fine and obviously I'm allowed to share this stuff so now I'm going to go back onto our iPod and we can get Doom running. Alright guys, so we are back from my computer. Hopefully you can see the screen okay. My camera doesn't pick up the iPod that well. But we want to scroll down and we're looking for the plugins file. Now if you just press the um, like kind of like enter button, go into games, scroll down until we find the letter D and then we're going to choose Doom. So now it's going to be a bit different. If we go into game, we can find it. We have got Doom shareware and obviously if you guys copied across different Dooms, if you've got some of the popular ones from the top 100 website, um, you can just put all of the WADs in the same folder and all we want to do is just press the menu button on Doom Shareware, scroll down to where it says play game, press the menu button again and it should actually load up and there you go guys we have got the real Doom running on an iPod Nano first gen and of course you guys can play this on pretty much any device you want. So if you guys want to bring out the menu you can actually flick on the hold button and then flick it off, I don't know why but it seems to work. Um, and then it's just going to bring up this menu like here so we're going to go on new game we're going to go on uh, knee deep in the dead let's go on this one I believe I chose a hard game mode but it doesn't really matter and as you guys can see you can pretty much play Doom now it's not exactly easy to play I mean if I was in like a class or something at school I'd probably play, be playing this um, but yeah apart from that you could just use your phone but it's still cool to see these mini homebrew ports actually running on iPods this is crazy like this is actually really really cool um, the middle button seems to bring out your gun. The um, backspace button seems to fire. So let's see if we can kill some enemies. Um, how do I open this? Is, do you have to use your hand to open doors? 
How do I open the door? I don't even know. I know you guys did it. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the controls, but I'm sure you guys can find it out. It also does tell you the controls on the website. But let's try and get a kill. Where is this character? Can we get... Oh, God, I'm not doing that. Where am I? Oh, no. I think I'm going to die at this rate. Can we get a kill on an iPod Nano? Yes, we can. There you go. We take out both of them. So there you go. Doom running on an iPod. Let's just zoom out. Um, so, yeah, the screen is very, very small. I'm kind of struggling to see it. I'm kind of looking through the camera lens, and it's really, really hard to see. But I'm sure you guys can get the hang of it. And to be honest, the FPS is very good. This is running completely fine. I'm playing it without any lag whatsoever. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Hopefully, I have got more iPod content coming soon. And, um, see, so yeah, I really like playing these Doom games. They are really fun. And there's plenty of other homebrew apps that are pretty cool that you can also play on your iPod. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.